everyone, author184 here, also known as Saint Killjoy, and now we're going to be doing the Sewers of Nuln. Um, after you complete the quests in that region of Reichland, uh, you'll come across a random quest event that will give you this quest, and it's the absolute last uh, boss event of the, the campaign. This is the Sewers of Nuln. On the outskirts of Nuln, your party is met by one of Kristoff's agents who, with nary a word, guides them along the ominous uh, city walls to a dilapidated sewer outlet in the ancient foundations, its iron gate, long rusted away in parts, and others, it has been smashed. The agent, having delivered his charges to the appointed location, quickly disappears. The warriors look glumly at each other and prepare themselves once more for another perilous quest into the darkness. Although this darkness is a particularly acrid one, the sewers of Nuln are no primordial barrow, no lost tome of antiquity. They are the primary means of flushing the filth and excrement of the teeming populace who live above. Oblivious to the malevolent creatures that have taken residence and are even now planning their doom, the warriors wade into the ankle-deep, brackish water and enter the dark void, not noticing gleaming pairs of red eyes that peer out. And of course, we're going to be taking my farming squad, because that's what I'm doing. I'm farming. Eventually, I'm no longer going to have a need for money. And then when that moment happens, that will be the end of me taking the dwarf. Hold on a second. Move this back two. Back one. Just forming them up. Chalice of Fate. And Shadow Staff. These give me more power. Alright. Here we go. The door opens to reveal a room with a large subtunnel in the far end, while brown water trickles into the main chamber, but that is not what concerns the warriors. Skaven clan rats are notoriously cowardly creatures unless they fight in large numbers. Unfortunately for the party, this chamber is teeming with them and more constantly pour into the room from the smaller tunnel in the opposite wall. As one, the creatures turn to study the warriors and then draw their rusty blades. Eight clan rats, three claw leaders. And we're going to go over here. No, I want to be on this side of the room. All right, claw leaders. Soften them up. Again, we're just having the dwarf do all the killing. That way we get double gold. But as you can see, they're not worth a lot. We're going to do Burning Barrage. And then there's only one target, so we'll do two Fireballs. Like the uh, Skaven symbology. Eight Clan Rats and four Claw Leaders. Alrighty. Death, blow it up, my man. Okay, let's do another uh, burning barrage. And let's do one more. Okay. 
Akram's Mind Razors. And we got enough. We don't need to cast it, but we're going to because we got enough. And Akram's Mind Razor. Add stash. End the turn. Alright, we're not going to lollygag around. We're going to go straight to the next one. More Skaven symbology. Skaven do have some pretty cool symbols. Alright, end the turn. The Sewers of Nalm. For a moment, the warriors hear a rumble and then the unmistakable thrush of cascading water down the passage courses a wave of affluent and bilge. The warriors have nowhere to go but must hold steady, brace themselves, and close their mouths. Bracing. As the adventurers recover, wiping filth from their eyes, they realize the wave is probably not a one-off and they should expect to encounter similar events the deeper into the sewers they go. Alright, so there's three turns remaining before the next bilge. Again, not going to lollygag around. Uh, I've not played this one before, so this is my first time in here. I don't know what to expect either. Fang Leader, Claw Leader, Death Runners, and a Warlord. And then there's a center. Can't move past the center. We're going to move all the way there, though. Comes with the Warlord. Move him here. And move him here. Alright, let's get rid of the Warlord first. Crush him! Can you kill this too? Not quite. One more. All right, Akram's mine razor on this guy. And one on this guy. And then let's go ahead and do one on this guy as well. Oh, we killed him. Alright, we got it down to several. So, burning barrage. Nobody died. Fireball, this guy here, and then we'll go ahead and end the turn. We're not gonna be able to fully clear this room right away. Okay, now I don't want to hang out in this room because the turn's remaining. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cast spells. That way we can still move. All right. <gasps> Plus one strength. Yes. Uh, another green ring. I'm gonna have to farm in the the scaven area. Uh, strength. He's nine. Three. Sixteen. Five. Let's make him a straight up 10. And that ring is more important than that one. Alright. Yeah, we'll go ahead and equip the scroll. Why not? Sewers so Gnome. At first, this chamber seems suspiciously empty. And then from the dark, shadowed corners, gave an assassin emerges. The warriors raise their weapons and brace for the attack, but the assassin holds up its paws in a submissive gesture. The creature stands too far away to attack at this point, so an offensive strike would be pointless. This gave him once to talk, so it might be wise to hear it out. And then kill it. We have a common foe enemy. Yes, I am here to slay, not you, you. Another target I seek. We can work together a common cause enemy. 
The council says this plan is not sanctioned. None should not be contaminated yet yet. Those who are here work not f with the council's blessing permission. Help each other, yes. However you get get in my way way, I will make you corpses. The assassin seems to relax from its defensive stance and looks fervently around. First I must know now if you are the warriors that have been slain many many of my kin. I will not work with them. Or are you merely some fools who have wandered down here by mistake? Tell Mimi, what was the name of the clan wiped out near the man nest of Bogenhafen? The warriors I seek will know this, this. I believe it was Ungrel. I've slept since then. Good, good, says the assassins. You are the Skaven Slayers I will ally with. A thing you must know now, those beyond the scheme plan who work with the Orc Lord to distract the men men in Weisenberg, who plan to spread the pox in Nuln, are twins to Graciers of big power. I must try to kill them, you will too too. The creature gives a vile grin. Okay, we're gonna ally with them. I go now, we will fight together soon soon. Alright, so we have a Skaven ally. And we're just going to get as deep into this as we can before the next wave hits. Alright, so it just does a little bit of damage. That's not bad. I thought maybe it might um, move or something. Flush me backwards. Grayseer, Bombardier, Fang Leader, Storm Vermin. Right into the brick wall we go. Troll Slayer is falling a little bit behind. Gotta keep up, man. Hmm. That's a Fang Leader with a lot of health. do is I'm going to uh, do Blade of the Night and give him three more attacks. Alright. Now we're going to do Burning Barrage. Didn't do near as much as I wanted to do, so we're going to do it again. Somewhat helpful. Ockram's Mine Razors on Gracier. It's got magic resistance, so yeah, he's going to deflect part of it. Ockram's Mine Razor again. And one more time, I've got plenty of power stored. Boom, he's dead. Oh, I don't have enough. Hmm. I'm just gonna have to eat one of the bombardiers. I like to get them out of the way if I can, but not always capable of doing that. All right, he's enraged. He's got plus one attack. Another fang leader. don't really like that there's not a lot of difference between a Fang Leaner and a Storm Vermin. Visually, they look identical. That's what I'm clicking on them. Okay, we're going to fireball this guy. Alright, you come here. And you come here. And you over here. Cleared up, didn't have to use them, so I can position them a little better. Alright, in the turn. We get hit by 
by another wave. That is for Sotan. Alright, end the turn. Now, taking more damage. Sewers of Nuln. As the warriors enter the room, they are suddenly assaulted by a pack of vomit deer that leap down from hidden ledges in the ceiling. The creatures prepare to fight, but as your adventurers take battle stances, they notice a prominent hiss and haze starting to fill the chamber, as well as the glass globes of deadly gas. The vomit deer backpacks are hissing fumes of the same noxious brew. Well, bombardiers. The warriors receive two to four wounds per turn. Effects last for one dungeon. All right, get up in there. You go up there. Here and here. All right, so let's get to this. step one more space forward that's what we're going to do and we'll end the turn here now luckily I've got a lot of wound regeneration so the effects the special effects this dungeon are not uh, bothering me because I'm healing them faster than they can damage me which you know I didn't prepare for that I just I liked um, regeneration because using items or healing abilities just it just was pointless it's like you know you can't heal that many wounds so if you regenerate as much as you would if you would waste a scroll or something then you got the same amount that's the way I saw it anyways the great glass vials of this chamber contain thousands upon thousands of great pox rats. They scrabble over and over their vile kin in the enormous glass jars, biting and scratching against each other. Just desperate to escape their disgusting confines, each great pox rat is carrying the swollen pox. The creatures are stored and ready to be unleashed on the unsuspecting citizens of Nome. Before the warriors can further study the environment, they are attacked by minions of Clan Skyre. Ooh, Clan Skyre. So, Bombardier, Fang Leader, Storm Room, and Warlords. Let's do it. So, if I want to kill seven, I want to be right in there. Let's see if we can't make that a possibility. Bring this one up here. Okay, we're going to fireball this guy. And fireball him again. Uh, we're going to Ocker Mine Razor this one. Can you move? Ah, there's still one block in the path. got a way in there. Let's fireball this guy here. Okay, bring him in here.
Okay, I'm kind of enclosing him a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of beat these guys down. Oh, that's a clan leader. One second. That will soften him up. Let's end the turn. Alright, this is my best opportunity to unlock this if I can do it. Alright, we got him down. It's another fang leader. Get him! things I do for unlocking one achievement. <laughs> Alright, we got him. Deflected. I'll oh, stop deflecting it, you scrub. All right. Crash fingers. I'm gonna start with the warlord because he's gonna be the biggest pain. Get um. Alright, there's one. It was not a death blow. Here we go. Death blow it up, please. Death blow. Death blow. Missed! You screwed it up! <laughs> yeah, let the wizard show you how it's done. <laughs> Alright, in the turn. Racing. All right. Burning barrage. One guy standing. Ockram's mine razor. It's overkill, but so be it. Great pox rats need eliminating if Nuln is to survive. How will your warriors achieve this? Smash the glass containers and smote the rats with sword and, s sword and spell. Wait for the next sewer flush and then break the vats down. Drown the rats in filth. Use the dead Globedeer's noxious backpacks to funnel lethal gas into the vats. I don't think that's going to work. Let's, uh, let's smash and just kill them ourselves. As soon as the glass vats are smashed, an avalanche of great pox rats falls upon the warriors. 
The rats die in droves and eventually are all crushed, stabbed, or sliced. It was a long and exhausting encounter, and your warriors have not survived the fight unscathed. All involved have been beaten and scratched by the foul creatures. Your party have been infected by a virulent form of the swollen box. And it's just one to two wounds per turn. That's fine. Inside the chamber, two graciers stand defiant, surrounded by storm vermin. Between the Skaven mages hangs an unholy bell, similar to the one seen in Bogenhafen. A hawking rat ogre stands by the bell. You have ruined, defied our plans, says one of the graciers. No more to say, say, vengeance die die, squeaks the other. The screaming bell chimes, swung by the rat ogre as the clapper strikes. It unleashes a terrible cacophony into the air, signaling battle should be joined. To Graceers, ten storm vermins, two fang leaders. They mentioned a rat ogre. Where's the rat ogre? It was a mentioned. Ah, oh, there he is. It didn't. I guess, uh. Just didn't need to be added. Alright, so that is a lot. Ockram's Mine Razors on the Grace here, please. And then this guy has enough for one fireball. So we'll fireball him. Fang leader. Alright, let's do it! Kill the storm vermin first. Again, not a lot of indication about which one's a fang leader and which one's a storm vermin. Just not. Just something noticeable would be nice. Just like so like look at them and tell. Even if it was just like a little scruff of red paint. You know, I think I might see a difference. No, I don't, because that's, that's a fang leader. I was going to say maybe fang leaders wear the little helmets, but that's not the case, because that's a fang leader right there. Alright, he's down. Death blow. Clean shop up, my man. Both my wizards down. Oh, he's down too. Alright, we'll end turn. Warp power plus 11 wounds. Bell echoes when the screeching sound of a million scurry rats. The warriors try to move their legs, but find their feet remain rooted to the ground. So there's no movement this round. Yep, I just want these guys dead and over with. Cast some magics. Here comes Mine Razor. And one more Ockram's Mind Razor. 
Suddenly from the shadows, the Skaven assassin strikes, leaping onto the back of a gray seer. It plunges the carved blade deep into the mage, and the creature instantly dies. The assassin flashes the warriors an evil grin before leaping into the darkness once more. Alright, so I just gotta get the low, evidently. Now, I don't want all my fireballs to be deflected. So, let's just start hitting the bell ringer. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the last fireball. Alright, in the turn. Yep, do your wound thing. You there, you there, up here, and there. All right. Troll Slayer time. Take that, Mr. Rat Ogre. Oh, he's out. Ockram's Mind Razor. Nicely done. Finish him! Boom. 430 gold right there. Okay. Turns Mind Razor. Alright, we're hitting them this time. One more. I, uh, something from the shadows, the, it was a Skaven assassin strikes, leaping onto the back of a gray seer, it plunges it, the curved blade deep into the mage, the creature instantly dies, the assassin flashes the warrior's an evil grin, before leaping into the darkness once more. Use that same one twice. You are victorious. Oh yeah. Got plenty of extra gold. The warriors emerge into the streets of Nuln via a small access tunnel. They lift the cast iron manhole, cover and squint as sunlight fills their faces, only to find themselves surrounded by the city guard. Come with us, orders a gruff voice. Without a further word, they are escorted just beyond Nuln's east gate, where they find Kristoff waiting for them. He looks apologetic. My friends, I'm sorry for the way you have been treated, says Christoph. He turns to the guards. They should be hailed as heroes, not thrown out of the city. He looks back at the warrior band. Unfortunately, there is nothing I can do. My influence in Nuln is not as great as in the capital, and the Countess has expressly demanded that you be ejected, lest you tell tales of your exploits in Nuln's taverns and scare the locals. He smiles once more. Please take this from a silver flask. He hands every warrior a small cup of the liquor. Malin's cure for the swollen pox. We don't want any more cases, do we? Once the warriors have drunk the tincture, he continues. I must remain here and tidy up. You have created quite the mess, but better than the alternative. You have my and Carl Franz's unreserved gratitude. He summons a man forward carrying a large chest. You are heroes, never doubt that. You have undertaken a great mission in the name of the Emperor and his symbol of office, Gaul Moraz, a Warhammer quest, if you will, and returned victorious. He clasps the hand of your warriors once more and moves back. The warriors take stock and start walking away even as the city gates close firmly behind them. Ooh, greater ring of regeneration. Three wounds per turn. Add stash. We received a thousand gold. And we got that one done. And it is a dead end there. Okay, let's go take a look at that real quick. And who do I have that would be willing to give something up? Fifty 
51 wounds. You get three wounds per turn. Plus he's got two of the blue little ones. Probably him at the moment. Alright, this is what I'm going to do. We're going to take this one off. We're going to put this one on through wins per turn. And then we're going to give him 12 max wins. Seems like a novel idea. And then he can just hold on to that scroll. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the stream. That way we can just do this one by itself, and then we're going to make our way up over here. So I'll be back in just a minute.